Within the Genie and the project editor, it allows you to design to have cameras coming up on the iPad or iPhone to include in your GUIs. To do this, the easiest way to do it is have a camera that allows you to pull MJPEG video off there. Now, if you don't have one of those, what we have is a Nest video server that allows you to support up to four analog cameras, converts them into IP to allow to be able to use with the Genie. So by using the video server, it allows you to use any type of camera, whether it be IR, PTZ, um, whatever you like to bring up on the Genie. Once you feed these into the video servers, it allows you to change the GUI that you, then you can bring up on the iPad or iPhone and view live video at any time. Let's now have a look at the steps that required to bring cameras up. First of all, we're going to create a page, we'll add a new GUI page called Cameras. I open this page up, we can then check the resolution for this camera. Again, we'll match what we've got, which is iPad landscape. Let's add a heading on there, which will be a label, and we'll just call it Cameras. Check the font, colour, size. Make it nice and basic, it should be fine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a web image here. Now, as part of the script that we do supply, it shows us what we need to put in there for the video server. So if we have a look at the video server, the script that we provide, and we'll just scroll up the top of the script. And we've got this different size for the video server. I'm just going to get the standard one here for camera one. So I cut and paste that and we'll keep this open for a moment. We'll use this later. Now what we do need to put in there is the IP address of the video server. On my example, I know that it's 192.168.0.201. Of course, you'd put in there the one that suits the video server that you've got installed. If I then click OK, we can have the various size. It opens this web image here that we can um, resize if we wish. We can size those to whatever size. But because it's a four channel video server, let's go and change that so we've got four cameras. Easiest way to do it is just Control C, Control V, line those up, you can make them actually a little bit bigger. I can then go and check what size it is. Let's make it say 370 by 300. Make this one the same. 370 by 300. Align those up. Copy them to get our other two cameras, line them up nicely. And all we need to do now is just go in and modify them of for the various cameras. So if I open up the script here, this is for camera one, so we change this one here for camera two, change this one here for camera three, and the script here for camera four. Okay, so that's the first step that we've now we've got. So we've now got um, four cameras in there. Just bring them up a little bit to make sure they meet on the page. And I'm going to hit OK and save that. Now that's the first step for the GUI page. Now what would happen there is we left it as is. You'd get one snapshot coming on the screen and it wouldn't refresh. So now we need to add the script to make that refresh all those cameras. If I go back to my notepad. Again, this is supplied as part of the um, Genie package. If I highlight all of that script, which is in, from opened in Notepad, Control C to copy it. Can close that now. We don't need. If I go back to my GUI group, right mouse click, and this time we're going to add script. So when I click on add script, we can give it a name. We can just call it anything we want. 
we'll call it cameras so we can remember what it is. It opens up the HTML um, or just sort of say JavaScript uh, script editor. I can paste in here the script that I've got, click OK, and now we've got our GUI page cameras and our script from cameras. And when we open the camera page, we'd be get live footage on all those cameras. Let's go a little bit further than that. Let's open up our TV remote control. And on the TV remote control, we can add an image on there as well. So if someone comes to the front door while you're watching TV, instantly you can look at the remote and see um, the image there. So again, we're going to open web image, put in the command that we need to go, open the script up that I should have saved before, open that in notepad, get the command out for the particular camera, in this case I'll use camera 1, again put in the URL, 192.168.0201 Size it so it fits nice on the screen. So now what we'd be having in this example is we'd be having um, our TV remote with a camera view on there as well. I click OK and we're good to go. Now one thing um, to watch is that the particular script that we've got supplied allows you to have up to four cameras maximum per page. You can have as many cameras as you like, so you can have a page there that would be, you know, four cameras and you can have next and next and next, etc. as many cameras as you want, but it's recommended not to put any more than four cameras per page. 